Have you ever pondered over the strange intersection of faith, the cosmos, and extraterrestrial life? Today we delve into the fascinating tale of Chantao. This enigmatic group, whose name translates to True Way, had its origins in Taiwan, born from the mind of Hon Ming Chen, a former professor turned religious cultivator. After breaking away from a previous religious group, Chen, along with Tao Hung Ma, charted their own path. However, it was only when Chen decided to move to the United States that the group's teachings took an unusual turn, introducing elements of cosmology, flying saucers, and prophecies of the end times. At its core, Chen Tao was a concoction of various belief systems, Buddhism, Taoism, Christian millennialism, and intriguingly, ufology. From its inception, Chen Tao was a group that sought answers beyond the mundane, answers that resided in the vast cosmos above. As the group grew, so did its beliefs and prophecies, leading them on an unexpected journey. From the far reaches of Taiwan, Chen Tao made a transcontinental leap, landing in the United States. The move was not just geographical, but spiritual. The group believed Garland, Texas, whose name resonated as Godland, was their destined sanctuary. Upon arrival, they brought with them an extraordinary prophecy. Chen predicted that on March 31, 1998, God would grace every North American television on Channel 18. Their lifestyle was as unique as their beliefs. Dressed in white, donning cowboy hats and driving luxury cars, the members of Chen Tao were a sight to behold. This spectacle, combined with the impending prophecy, brought international media attention to the tranquil town of Garland. The town's residents, not quite sure what to make of their new neighbors, watched with a mix of fascination and unease. Their prophecy and lifestyle intrigued many, but also stirred trepidation among the residents of Godland. But what happens when prophecies fail and faith is put to the test? In the early morning hours of March 31st, 1998, the world didn't end. God didn't appear on Channel 18. The prophecy had failed. The followers of Chen Tao, once filled with unshakable conviction, were now awash in a sea of confusion and doubt. Their leader, Hon Ming Chen, publicly admitted his mistake. He offered to be stoned or crucified for his error, but none took him up on his offer. The once thriving community of believers dwindled, some returned to their previous lives, their faith shaken. Others, despite the disappointment, held on to their beliefs, adapting them in the face of failed prophecy. The tale of Chen Tao serves as a poignant reminder of the human quest for understanding and the lengths we will go to find meaning in the cosmos.